students, and Tuskegee University faculty were here to see Dr. Ronald McDowell applauded for his creativity, longevity, and humanity as an artist. His art, the way I like to put it is, holds a mirror to our conscience. This was a shining moment for him, and seeing people drawn to his original artworks on display in the lobby of Henderson Hall was just as gratifying as the award he received. Yeah, because it's not me, it's what God blessed me with. Mm. I've never had an art lesson in my life. Thank you. Uh, I know everybody in here just about. But I just want to thank everybody for coming. I, I had no idea that Tuskegee cared this much for me. No, I'm not going anywhere unless y'all. Y'all, I'm going to leave kicking the screen. <laughs> This follows on the heels of a ceremony in Birmingham where a massive mural was recently unveiled in the Jefferson County Courthouse. The mural visually communicates that racial progress has been made here and that leadership is shared by men, women, and all ethnicities. Dr. McDowell's mural stands in stark contrast to two other murals also in this lobby, that glorifies slavery and its cousin, Jim Crow. Commissioned by cities, counties, universities, parks, and other institutions all over this country to capture their most sacred icons in art forms. I present to you Miss Nina Miglionico. He is now working on a statue for the city of Montgomery, honoring Dr. Martin Luther King. Yet Dr. McDowell remains humble and easygoing. This student is discussing hidden images in an art workbook created by Dr. McDowell, who counts teaching among his greatest achievements, because he gets to influence young people to find their own artistic talent, often in spite of deeply rooted, crippling fears concerning art. I never dreamed that I would even be teaching at Tuskegee. I never dreamed when I left Hollywood and left Michael Jackson's corporation. I was Michael Jackson's art teacher, not his artist. I was his art teacher for 12 years. And when I visited Tuskegee and saw how humble the people were in Alabama, and it led me to become the artist for the state of Alabama. And I began doing portraits of all the famous Alabama in muscle shows. So Alabama has done this for me. I don't think I could have done this in California. You know, people here just embrace my work, and that's why I think God brought me here. You know, they help so many people, and they've in turn helped me. And what I haven't told my bosses here is that I learn more from the students than I teach them. I really believe that. I learn more from them than they do from me. And I thank each and every one of them every day, and they don't come late, most of them. They, they show up, and it's just, I've never met students like students in Tuskegee. And I have been teaching for the past 30 years. And there's no students like Tuskegee students. He's become a mentor to most of them that didn't, didn't even know they could draw a straight line. <laughs> he, he, by the way, dude, I didn't, I didn't get the memo about the hat. I know. I know. Ron is so, he's so busy, you know, we, we can't nail him down. Every week he's gone somewhere. He's in California, New York, and Birmingham, and Atlanta, and New Orleans this week. But uh, we, we are so grateful and so happy to have him as part of our art faculty and uh, the impact that you made upon our students as of late these last, last three years. We hope that that will continue for three times in these three years you've been here. So uh, we, we're excited about having you. We're excited about the things that you uh, give to us. And he's very giving too, by the way. You know, very, 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 a very humble young man. He's very, very humble. You know, and I just can't say enough about that. But uh, just so you know, you hear it again, and I've said it more than once, I am very proud to have you as a part of our uh, Fine Performing Arts Faculty.